hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so excited to be back on this channel again i mean it's been almost a whole year since i last did content and wow well I, all i can say is i'm glad to be back to youtube so before i say whatever happened i took a break nini nini just uh please 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 subscribe to my channel if you've clicked on this video and you've not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel and i'll appreciate so if you're new here for any subscriber my name is debbie yeah you can call me debbie moke but if you're returning subscriber i want to say <laughs> thank you so much for always watching my content so guys uh, i want to do a vlog about a few days in my life and hopefully hopefully this content goes up soon because today is on monday monday first of august so i don't know i don't know when it go up but i hope you get to see it guys so uh in today's video i'm going to the salon i'm headed to the salon to do my hair guys it's been over and it's almost a year isn't it? it's almost a year since i put sorry guys it's been almost a year since i put these locks on and still not and then it's time newly and then hopefully i'm going to return them because they've really served me so so well anyway guys so i'll take you along with me so that you can spend this day with me see you in a few wish i could get through it don't know what to do to you Anything I say will come off as wrong and you're not alone Something feels out of place but you have no tell It's like we want the same things but the lines we've drawn are too parallel I can't sleep when you're not talking to me Got me suffering in silence, can't breathe when you're not here finally go to spa mall it's where i'm going to undo my locks and what dows in nairobi is called i might just me eh? but i know i know the drama i know the drama nairobi is called called kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. my appointment was for 2 p.m like you know hey it's 3 15 do not pick up but like you know you may show up you may show up that's what is important and let's go into ka to kata is it let me see. I know we want the same things, but the lines we've drawn are half in the hell. I can't sleep when you're not talking to me. Got me suffering in silence, can't breathe when you're not here. If you've not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, 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 subscribe. We are at 1.14 subscribers, and yeah, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. You, uh, most people that watch my content actually in Onyeshanga they haven't subscribed yet. So, kindly subscribe to my channel, and I really, really appreciate it. And if you're a returning subscriber, Gang, gang. I love you so much and thank you for watching my content. God bless you. So guys, see you in a few. Who's making the rules I abuse? I'm confused enough. Why don't you think we could talk? Am I not the one who always comes through? Got me in a dark place if you couldn't tell. I know we want the same things with the lines. And now I can't sleep when you're not talking to me Got me suffering in silence, can't breathe when you're not here I love how you feel some type of way, girl You don't say it to my face, though Just say it to my face 
Hey guys, so we finally got to Fred's Ranch. It's somewhere in Kitengela, I think. Yeah, if you've never been here, it's somewhere in Kitengela. And damn, this place is beautiful. We, walai, if log, sinjuta kameta ifanya justice. But this place is so, 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 so beautiful. It's a place that, guys, you can visit. It's family, family friendly. First of all, uh, you, I've come with my whole fam, my baby my sister my brother my baby my two babies <laughs> yeah and i'm hoping we're going to have a successful day i'm hoping it's going to be a fun filled afternoon i love you you know the way nairobi is like so 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 cold a place is cold i feel that cold it's it's warm you see um yeah it's a java sweater so i love the weather here it feels like me could on a vacation to kakwangu because this place where they are eco fiti the weather is really fine so yeah let's go in and see what's 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 what it's made up of okay so watch out to go in and then i'll show you one or two things that i see here okay see ya guys the first place that we visited while we were at Fred ranch was where the cows were at and here they had two types of cows they had the fresh yarn and the asha the asha is a brown one i think you can see it over there and they say that these animals could give up to 34 liters of milk a day that's the fresh ones. yeah that's how much how many liters of milk they could give a day the second place we visited were where the rabbits were and here uh, they told us they they had many rabbits but these ones were the ones for the display and uh these rabbits they are edible so if you wanted one they could you could buy them and they could sell but i think at that point you said they were not many so they were not selling at that point yes and also the something that i learned is actually that the uh, lifespan of a rabbit is around 7 to 10 years. Guys, I never knew that. I never knew that. I thought these things stay up to, I don't know, 2 years. I didn't even know. Lifespan is 7 to 10 years. Even an ostrich. I came to learn that the, the lifespan of, not an ostrich. Is it an ostrich or, or chicken? Chicken. Yeah, cuckoo. Lifespan of cuckoo apparently is, is, is 10 years. Skujua, that's the, the lifespan of cuckoos. And here there were more cows, as you can see, still the fresh ones that they were being milked. Apparently, the cows are being milked in the morning, at noon, na juni. And these cows have names, like, I don't know, Sylvia, Kitale, what. They're, they're named, like, randomly, though. It's not like they're given, like, female names or male names, no. But they have random names. But those those cows were huge very very huge and the milk top tire actually tested the milk because when you go there you can buy milk uh if you want they, they sell milk and maziwayao top tire solid yeah he comes very sana uh, the next place we visited was where they had chicken they're not kenyeji though like totally they're not and this chicken what were, were purely purely for laying eggs I think, but also they were being uh zikshama lizakuli eggs like they were in three sections kuna vifaranga and then from there the pre layers and then the layers and the post layers. So the post layers is na chinjwa and then people are given to eat when you visit that place. Ama you can also buy if you want. They can sell them to you if you're interested in buying. But mostly they sell the post layers that do not lay. Yes. After that we visited the farm. And they have very, very interesting wakwamepanda parsley. I think it's pronounced like that. 
there's dania they had the mint they had a lot of veggies and it was interesting the way they had done their farming because it was it was a in large scale i could say yeah they have skuma wiki they have saga they have managus everything everything kenyeji it everything um how is it called is that what i'm looking for uh organic yes everything organic so as you can see there is more and more mboga that is this is dania that you can see at the first place and then the next one is mint the next one is saga yeah they had even loquat. These trees are loquat tree if you could see it. The one that's in the middle there. Uh, apparently, I thought it's it's the season of loquats. I don't know why why they are not ready yet. But yes, that's it. Um, The next place that we visited was still on the farm. As you can see, these guys use drip irrigation for their plants because, you know, Vua in Kichagela is not predictable. You can't say that throughout the year you're going to have rain for your plants. So they use drip irrigation. And then when you can look at the seed beds, you can see they've made something that looks like a trough-like. So that when the rain uh, pours and there's a lot of water, it can be harvested there. And it could help the plants grow. So the water that they were using there was straight from the tanks. They have done harvesting of water and it could go straight from the, it could be pumped from the borehole to the tanks and then from the tanks to the farm. And they could use drip irrigation for their plants in the farm. That's what the instructor told us, if I remember very well. Yeah. Also, they had strawberries on the farm. Uh, the instructor told us that the strawberries were mainly used by their students. Apparently, they have an hospitality college within the same facility, and the strawberries could mostly be used by the students. Those are strawberries growing down there, if you could see well. And next, this was an orange tree, if I remember very well. And and it's it had very, very huge oranges. As you can see, it had those those big big oranges that are not really sweet. I, I I can't I can't remember how they called if they even have a real name, but they're not as sweet as such like the other oranges. As you can see, the, that orange is really huge. It's thick. It's it's big. Yeah, it's really big. And they had several oranges orange trees on the farm as they. Next, uh, we saw carrots, cabbage, and lots of spinach. They have also planted them on the farm. If you go there, they sell for you one one cabbage is at 100 shillings, carrots at 100 shillings, that's 1 kg, skumawiki at 100 shillings, and it's very affordable, and they're all organic. And the cabbages are big, big, big cabbage. Nabadoa knows at 100 shillings. As you can see, this is skumawiki, and... The tamu, I, I came home with some so I can attest to it. And there are also some mango trees. And apparently, uh he actually told us that these the young the, the short rather than the young. The short mango trees sometimes give more mangoes than the tall mango trees. And whoa, I don't know how true that is, but that's what he actually told us. So yeah. As you can see, there's just more and more skumawiki. The farm is really, really, really huge. Make a point of visiting this place, guys, and and buying the organic food. You won't regret. But then sometimes it's good to know where your food comes from, you know. We never get to know Mali. Easy mamboga to know nuku kwa streets as ingine zimetoka. So, okay. When you get a chance to actually test food that is directly from the, from the farm, don't resist don't resist so make a point of visiting this place guys and actually tasting their food their organic vegetables that are straight from the farm as you can see there's more and more cabbage over on the other side and this other part they've already put seedlings 
that are in the nursery they're waiting to grow so there's more cabbage more carrots more spinach yeah a lot of it so make a point of visiting the place and getting yourself some you will regret you will regret you will regret you won't regret you it will be worth it they also had beetroots and more and more cabbage on the farm also they had what are those called they're called spring onions or something yeah they also some spring onions on the farm those had sugarcane guys sugarcane and bananas and bananas bananas yes And lastly, we saw the orange trees. Uh, most oranges are not ripe per se, but there were several oranges up on those trees, as you can see. And that's it, guys. I really enjoyed visiting this place. Uh, yeah, it was it was fun, really fun. Yeah,